Dianne Feinstein has died at the age of 90. And the California senator has largely been remembered as a pioneer for women in politics as well as a champion of gun control. But also in recent years, she's been one of the biggest targets for people arguing that term and age limits need to be set in Congress, with her having been the oldest current person in the Senate. And earlier this year, she had been absent for three months while fighting a battle with shingles. And then when she returned, you had people worried that she was having memory lapses and didn't even remember her own absence. And that because she told reporters, quote, I haven't been gone. And then following that up by saying she'd been in Congress and voting when they asked if she meant she'd just been working from home. And then a few days later, her office revealed that there had actually been more complications than previously reported. She had also suffered brain swelling and had been diagnosed with Ramsey-Hunt syndrome. And then on top of that, last month she was hospitalized after falling in her home. And as far as who will replace Feinstein when and for how long, California Governor Gavin Newsom will be able to appoint an interim senator, likely a Democrat, who will serve until next year's election. And this is even before Feinstein's death, Representatives Katie Porter, Adam Schiff, and Barbara Lee had all announced their intent to run for the seat. But 100%, I'll keep you updated on this, so follow to stay in the loop.